remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Beyonce, Jay-Z, and even Lil Blue Ivy is catching heat from MAGA country. What did this beautiful family do? Well, they sat during the singing of the national anthem at Super Bowl 54. They sat. But here's the spin, family. They wasn't alone. See, a report from TMZ said that they were the only ones sitting as everyone around them stood. But that was a lie. If you just watched TMZ's own footage, it shows the couple immediately in front of them sitting down. And I'm sure if someone had scanned the actual stadium, they would have saw a lot more people sitting down. But those people sitting down is not a good story. The story is Beyonce and Jay-Z and Blue Ivy. But here's something also that the, um, the guy on TMZ failed to mention. There were two singing of the national anthem. Yolanda Adams sung America the Beautiful and Demi Lovato sung the national anthem. So Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Blue Ivy stood for America the Beautiful. And when it was time for the national anthem, not only did they sit, but several people in that whole section that they were in and beyond sat. But that ain't really a story, right? I'm not mad for him for sitting down if it was the first and only singing of the national anthem. The first and only playing of the national anthem. Because they have every right, they have every right to sit it out. You listen to the words. Everybody knows by now that the words in the national anthem is anti-black. They were calling for the killing of slaves in the third verse of the national anthem, which they don't typically sing, right? At least not in polite company. So you'll never hear them singing it publicly. Well, you know what? I take that back. These days, ain't no damn telling. There's so many crazies out there. They'll do it knowing that they're going to get suspended or fired or kicked out of school. And they'll do it anyway, just for that little, quick little attention they're going to get on social media. They'll do it. They just have that type of gall and ignorance. But if you're black and you decide to sit it out, you have every right to sit out the national anthem. And another thing, not just the fact that they're calling for slaves to be killed, but the fact that the words in the national anthem does not even apply to black folks. You dig what I'm saying? You listen to the words and it don't even apply to black folks. Like we have yet to get this so-called uh, equality and all of this is stuff that people talk about. So I'm with, I'm with them either way. Somebody want, I'm going to tell you what people should do. If, if you got a problem with it or you just don't want to make people uncomfortable, you don't want to just, you know, put yourself in a situation where you might have to lay hands on somebody, just walk out after the playing or the singing of the national anthem. Then just go out there and say, have a seat, you know. And I wouldn't be mad at somebody if they did decide to go that way because it's really not worth it putting yourself in that type of position. If you just have to go to a game, you have to sit there, you know, invariably there'll be somebody that has something to say about it. And then now, you know, you're going to have to put your hands on them and you probably end up in court before a judge that looks like the person that you put your hands on. And you know how that's going to go, right? 
So I'm with Beyonce and Jay-Z. I wouldn't have stood up either. In fact, I would have laid down, got me a pillow. Now, my problem that I have is the people who get upset about stuff like this, but don't get upset at the cause, the reason why they do stuff like that they're doing, the people that do decide to set it out. When somebody do decide to set out the national anthem, they get more upset with someone exercising their freedom of expression, their First Amendment right, than they, you know, to protest injustice, then they get about injustice. So these are people who get more upset at people protesting injustice than injustice itself. This is why I don't give a damn about what they think, because they're immoral. They're evil. They're corrupt. So I don't care about pleasing those type of people. You dig what I'm saying? Like, what's funny is that those type of people will be the first one to be like, oh, this is America. You know, you can't just do that. You can't just, you know, stop me and just ask me for my ID. That's harassment. Am I being detained? Is that a crime? It's not a crime. It's not a crime to stand on the sidewalk. This is America. If you don't like it, leave. They love saying stuff like that when somebody who don't look like them exercise their freedom of expression. That First Amendment is so dear to them when they're using it. When they're being critical of law enforcement or politicians or policies, they're being patriotic. But if you do it, you're hating. You hate America. Leave. The hypocrisy. I want to speak directly to all the people who had something negative to say about Beyonce and Jay-Z and Blue Ivy taking a seat during the singing of the national anthem. When the song was sung, did you get your patriotic ass up off that couch and stand? No, you didn't. So STFU. No more talk. What the haters talking about?